What's up, dudes and dudes to the year? Now, my name's Ayuji, and we are back in the border. Don't worry, I didn't forget Luxian this week. I actually set a reminder on my phone for once. Because I missed him the last two weeks. Ignore this costume. It's a mod, so stop asking. <laughs> I just assume people are going to be like, what's that? What is, what? Why is that one blocked there? Anyway, uh, I wanted to take a quick peek at this guy. He's got the costumes returning. You guys will want to check these out. Uh, I do have shorts on all of these costumes, as far as I know. I think. Anyways, uh, let's see if Lexian is actually worthwhile. Mm. Mm. I mean, some of it's okay. It's kind of odd that he's selling the cast cart because the, uh, you know, Shadow's Eve event is just like a month away at this point. So I, I, it's a little odd, uh, but okay. So we got the Bitten Kitten. I'm not gonna do it on my Shadow Hunter just because I don't really care. The Bitten Kitten is, uh, you know, it's a bouncing mount, so it's not one of my favorites. It's also around the time that the devs only had like a handful of colors rather than actually trying to do shading and stuff. But it's a giant fat cat, so it's basically a normal cat because cats are always fat, you get it? But 100 Dragon Coins, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if people are going to actually buy that on the player market or anything. It'd be a little bit weird. Then we got the cardboard coaster. Once again, when the devs were not really putting much detail and thought into their items, uh, but this one is supposed to be cardboard. It just doesn't really work with a voxel world, like the whole cardboard thing. I don't know, but whatever cardboard box, cool. I would have much rather preferred if it was, you know, a reference to Metal Gear or something and it was the one that we hide inside. And then we've got the cast cart. Lots of, lots of mag riders today. The cast cart, this one's uh, a bit special. It's been in the game for years and years and years. Again, it's, you know, only a handful of colors, but at least it's got enough detail to differentiate it. The thing is this used to, it, it might not be available in this method anymore, but it used to be an item that would come around during Shadow's Eve and it would be in one of the store packs, if I recall. That's at least the first time I remember seeing it. And I remember thinking at the time, oh, I'll never have that because, you know, I didn't buy anything in Trove back then. Uh, but yeah, so it's tradable. Cool, go for it. Then we've got the Throne of Dark Spirits. So this one is just uh, my soul, you know. It's not, I don't know. I, what I remember is there was two thrones that were added in the game at one point. There was this one and then the other one that thematically is the exact same, but it was green themed. And for whatever reason, these were very expensive. I never understood. Yeah, they still are. I never understood why, because in my opinion, it's pretty lackluster in terms of its design. Like, it, don't get me wrong. It looks cool and all, but just as far as armrest chair is concerned, I just didn't really see the appeal. But I guess like the black smoke or whatever, it just for whatever reason, it was always wildly popular on the market. Uh, and then we've got the Trovian Express. This one should be expensive just because it is 150 Dragon Coins, but I don't think it's gonna be nearly as expensive as the chair was in combination. I like this one just because, you know, it should be Thomas the Tank Engine. The dank engine, yeah, you heard me. It, it's a flying train. It doesn't really have anything animating on it other than the clock on the front, which, okay, maybe it's a Polar Express thing. I don't know, because I think I watched Polar Express like once in my life. Uh, and then there's the, uh, let's see what it actually costs on the market. Probably not much, excuse you. Yeah, literally the same, if not cheaper than this, but this costs less Dragon Coins. So don't bother getting this unless you just need it. And then we get the, tro uh, sorry, the Lexian style stash. So in the uh, style section, you know, there's all these different hats and weapons and stuff, all with different named categories. So the Lexian style stash will give you a random seasonal event pinata or Luxian equipment style that you don't already own. Some of these, like the pinata ones, uh, pinata hats, I should say, can end up giving you 10 mastery, but most items out of this are just gonna give you one mastery. This is an item for people that are truly at the end game and do not care anymore because there's like so few things that we have to nab. Then there is five crystalline cores sold for 25 dragon coins each. Sorry, I'm allergic to the idea that this would be that expensive. Crystalline cores are a joke now. For those of you that might be a returning player, since the gear update, which is live on all versions of Trove right now, uh, you end up getting these gear vault boxes, the gear vaults, 
uh, which means that you get a lot more gear. And if you have a high enough power rank, you actually get a lot of crystal gear. So you can just loot collect the crystal gear to get crystalline cores. So this is worthless. It needs to be updated. Uh, and then we got 15 golden dragon souls. So this, again, if you know it's your first time seeing Luxie and you're going to end up getting a lot of different badges that give you a lot of mastery. Also a really good starting ally for a physical class, the golden horn dragon link. Uh, but you'll end up getting a bunch of different dragon forms, a bunch of different other items. Uh, you know, I don't really feel the need to showcase these in every single video, but I'll show you the dragons themselves just because the mounts are kind of special. So we've got what I call the cookie cutter dragon. He doesn't fly or do anything impressive. We've also got the one that has wings. This one does fly, but he doesn't have the horns or anything of Luxian. And then we got the fully maxed out form, which not only flies, but his wings are a little bit bigger and he also shoots fireballs. Wow. Oh my God. This Is this how flux duping started with the duplicate, like the flux fireballs? No. So anyways, what I like doing in these Lexian videos uh, is kind of talking and breaking the fourth wall with you guys, taking the opportunity. Excuse me, has this hair always been broken? Hmm. Devs, fix that. They won't. So anyways, I like to talk candidly about uh, stuff going on behind the scenes. My wing is broken. Uh, and then just kind of like plans that are coming and stuff. Yeah, the wings are broken. Cool. So <clears throat> there hasn't really been too much to talk about lately, other than you guys have probably already seen that I had my Star Wars series come out. And uh, I decided to upload all of those episodes at one day because it's a triple A game, which means competition is stiff on YouTube. If I waited even an extra day to start posting those videos, I'm sure nobody would care. And I'm sure nobody really cared about the Star Wars game on my channel in the first place because it's not really my demograph, but I don't care. I still really enjoyed the game. I loved the story. Uh, and then I made my review based on my impressions of the game with the story. And now I've been slowly chipping away at the side missions. And my opinion is a little bit varying because the side missions, not gonna lie, they kind of suck. They're not really that good. Uh, but I'll talk about that and more in my game of the year video, which I'm kind of compartmentalizing and getting ready mentally to make that video. It's going to be much shorter this year, much more on point, you know, with my more strict and to the point editing that I've been doing lately. Uh, another game that we ended up having come and go on the channel was Core Keeper. I might still do some videos here and there, but generally speaking, we did beat the game, which means I don't know if there's much point. Uh, I do still have to make my review of 1.0 for Core Keeper, which that game, you know, my opinion hasn't changed. It's still phenomenal. And I also wanted to address something that I still see people commenting about is, are you going to play Wukong? I did. I already had a video talking about it, and basically it was just a fancy Unreal Engine 5 game with mid-tier gameplay, in my opinion. I'm not saying that the game is bad per se, but it most certainly wasn't good either. But the few people that I know that have played it have said it's good, but these are also the same people that I know that haven't played Elden Ring. <laughs> I also wanted to kind of just mention about the Windcraft series because I am still continuing that series on the channel, but it definitely has slowed down. I think that Windcraft unfortunately is guilty of the two weeks of Minecraft craving, right? You know, like you crave Minecraft, you play it for two weeks and then it gets boring. Even Windcraft is kind of doing that for me right now. Like as soon as I got to the end game area, it hasn't really changed that much since the early game has. Like with the rekindled update, basically they ended up overhauling a lot of different mechanics. Uh, and the uh, area that I just got into is kind of the same convoluted mess that it always was. And I'm finding myself a lot less interested in playing it. Now, I'm not saying that I'm abandoning the series by any means because I wanna try and force myself through that wall to hopefully be able to actually get one character max level at some point. Maybe not max level, but maybe close at least. I, I don't know, I just, it's something that I really want to experience. Another thing that's been a while since we had one was a games you've never heard of. Basically, I ended up utilizing all of the footage that I ended up having for all of these different random games in the last video. And uh, since then, I haven't had as much time, you know, with the whole Star Wars and Core Keeper, those kept me extremely busy. So now that things are starting to finally slow down a little bit for me behind the scenes, uh, I'm actually taking the opportunity to get the Trove videos back on track. And then once things kind of level out, then I can hopefully start to work on just recording like random Steam games and end up getting the next episode for that. And then as far as games 
coming on the channel. There's quite a few games that are releasing come September. So most of all, these are like games that I feel people would question whether I'm gonna play them or not. I know it's probably not super interesting for those of you that are just interested in the troll videos, but too bad it's my video anyway. Uh, so next week, we've actually got Space Marine 2. I'm really hyped for that game, but I don't think it's gonna go well on the channel. So the plan is I'm gonna do similar to my V Rising playthrough or my Blade and Sorcery playthrough, where rather than doing a full playthrough for you guys, I'm just gonna play through the entire game on my own and then condense that down to one singular video and then probably do a review and then just play the game myself. Later in the month, we've got the Plucky Squire, which I hope to play, Dead Rising Remaster, not sure I care. Apparently Silent Hill 2 is coming out if it doesn't get delayed. I'm expecting that game to suck. If I'm being perfectly honest, Konami does not have my trust as a company, but maybe we'll get some funny memes out of it. Or maybe we'll get a fantastic game. I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. And then of course we've got the new Zelda game, which they did end up having a new trailer drop today. I did watch it, it's pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna watch any more trailers since that game is coming down the month. Uh, but you can also expect a vlog or two this month. Well, come September, it's not September just yet. Uh, because there's, uh, the wife and I are going to end up going on a mini little vacation for a week. And so uh, I'll, I'll probably end up doing like a vlog of that. As for today's plans, once I get this video done, I'm hoping that I can just start streaming some Trove. Because if you'll notice, I've still got my fishing that I got to do. I just haven't had time. And uh, if I don't do it on stream, I won't do it. I got to get the fishing done and kind of get my fishing skill up a little bit so that I'm ready for when the next Trove update hits, if you guys haven't checked out my other videos talking about it. Uh, and I know that this was kind of a big info dump, but again, it's been two weeks since I ended up having a Luxian video, so I had a lot of ground to cover. And then on top of that, I did want to kind of talk more seriously with you guys and gals about the future plans. Um, even though I'll probably talk about a lot of this stuff again in the next Luxian video because it'll be kind of around that time again. You know what I mean? Anyways, with all of that said, ladies and gentlemen, I would appreciate if you would like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, share the video, tell me your dark secrets. Tell me, tell me what your favorite class is. Don't be shy. I know it's Gunslinger, but that's okay. All right? Don't worry about it.